Welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are continuing with the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. Until the last class, we talked about various options to create 2D geometries in ComSol. From today onwards, we will be talking about creating various drawings that will be necessary for your ComSol simulations. So we will be taking a few examples and if you go through those examples, then it will make the concept clear and you can implement those concepts to create your own geometries. So today's topic of discussion is creating this particular geometry. So before we move on to the creation of the geometry, let us talk about the logic behind creating this particular geometry. So you can see there is a circle inside and there is another circle outside and we have created an annular section and that annular section can be created by a difference operation. We have already created a video on this. The videos will be given in the i tab and you can and also in the description box you can follow this video and if you remember we have made another video on rotation if you create a particular geometry say a rectangle here and do a rotate operation by 90 degree then you can replicate those things and after creation of a rectangle if you make an union and remove the interior boundary lines then we can create this and for this particular plus shaped one we can take two different rectangles one is this rectangle another is this horizontal rectangle and again we can make an union of these two and remove the interior lines and then we can create this thing so let us move ahead with the actual geometry making so we right click on geometry take a circle say the radius of the circle is 3 I click on build selected so this circle is chosen I have to create another circle outside this because we have to have an annular section so I duplicate it and yeah let us choose the radius little bit smaller say 2.5 Seven five. I click on build all objects so the annular section is created now I will make a geometry uh, a difference operation in the geometry so that we can we can actually have the annular section so the difference operation is under boolean operation we have already created a video you can uh, look into that so we will be making a subtraction from the bigger circle to the from from the bigger circle to smaller circle that means bigger circle minus smaller circle so we create we choose the outer circle here this is the bigger one and here the inner one so what is happening it is happening c1 minus c2 so you can realize c1 minus c2 will be the annular section i create on build all objects so the annular section is created so we have only created the annular section now what i will be doing i will make another circle say c3 i am making a duplicate of c2 and i keep 2.75 itself i click on build all the objects so you can tell me like uh, i mean you can ask me like why i have done this because i am moving back to original c1 and c2 if we only have c1 and c2 we would have gotten this picture but what i did i make a difference operation then again created a circle c3 which is equivalent to the circle c2 but one thing is there if you just select here you can see you can select the inner circle and you can also select the annular section but if you only have C1 and C2, you cannot select the annular section. If you select here, it would have chosen the entire bigger circle. And that is why we have created the operation difference because the operation difference will be necessary for the annular section in your simulation. You may need to choose this annular section only. Now, we have created the annular section in a circle now we go to create this plus section and as i have mentioned for this i will be taking two rectangles horizontal 
and vertical and then make a union of this so I right click and take a rectangle say the height of the rectangle for the time being say 0.25 and the width say 5 I click on build all object so let us choose the uh, option center to align it at the middle I click on build selected so now it is aligned at the middle I uh, duplicate another rectangle and then just reverse the dimensions to make it vertical so the width is 0.25 and the height is 5 it would be at the center itself I click on build all objects and you can see uh, you have we have created this plus symbol but we have the interior points and that's why we have to take a union operation we go to boolean operation select union and we make an union of these two rectangles and we remove the interior boundaries because we do not need we click on build all objects so that will create the interior plus symbol which is there in the geometry now we have to create these inlets and for that what I have done I have told we have to create rectangles again and make our operation rotate again I have created a video on rotation to duplicate to make an array by operation rotation I will be putting that link in the description box and also in the i tab you can go through that video and that will be helpful for your learning purpose so initially I right click on it and make another rectangle so I have to put this rectangle somewhere here so let us choose the height as 0.4 and width as 1.5 I initially click here but now we have to make it at the center and then we have to shift it to here so we can do it by making an shift in the X so X can be around 3.5 minus 3.5 so it is here let us move little bit further say 3.5 sorry it will be 3.6 because we are moving in the left 3.6 so it is here and then what we can do is uh, you can make the height 0.5 it will be a little bit yeah then what we can do we can make an operation rotate so I right click here I choose the operation rotate so we will make a rotation of 90 degree so we have already one by the operation rotate we will be having another three one is here one is here another is here so what we have to do at which locations we need at 90 degree we need one at 120 degree we need one and at 270 degree we need one so with reference to this this is 90 degree this is 180 degree and this is your 270 degree and I click on build all objects uh, we have to choose the geometry which I am trying to rotate so I have chosen it now it will work so I have to also keep the input objects otherwise it will be vanishing yeah now we have all the four rectangles but we don't need this interior boundaries and for that we have to have another union operation under boolean so we click on union we make an union of this annular section this rectangle 1 this rotational 3 this is rotational 2 this is rotational 1 so these things we need to make an union I click on build all objects I remove the interior boundaries because that is what my objective is yeah now you can see the section is created so we have actually replicated this geometry no it is not yet done because we have to we have to cut out this portion to cut out this portion we can again select an operation difference yeah so we need to cut out the plus section so this is the superset and we need to subtract this one this is the subset and then we click on build all objects so it will subtract the inner plus section so now exactly we have replicated this 
will be making a particular video on the usage of this geometry for the rotation so this is like an arm which will be rotating so we'll be making uh, videos on advanced computation and in that video we'll be using this geometry in that video also we'll link this video so today i'm stopping here i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates we are also creating videos on engineering mathematics and other conceptual videos so this channel will be helpful to you i guess okay till then bye till the next video thank you